So here we have the Audi A4 Avanza on a 71 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping in the car and running through some controls. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. Within that, you can see the fuel gauge, and it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so we're in park at the moment. In the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 4,285. We have the time and date above that. You can change that information, uh, should you wish to, by using buttons on the steering wheel. So we're on the kind of driving data menu at the moment, but there are other menus available as well, as you can see, uh, including your satellite navigation. Uh, and you can get back around to the beginning again. And on the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and a digital readout for the speedometer as well. The buttons I was using a second ago uh, are here uh, for the center of the screen. We have stereo and phone controls on the right-hand side, cruise control and speed limiter on the left, just under here. And then behind the steering, all the minus and plus pedals so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the center, we then have the touchscreen for the car. We're on the home screen at the moment. Uh, which is where you, of course, access your radio. You can see we have DAB and FM radio. If you hit the source button just there, you'll be able to change between those and AM as well, should you wish to do that. If you want to listen to your own music, you hit the media button just there. Uh, and then, as you can see, there are a number of ways you can listen to your own music as well. If we go back to the home screen again, uh, obviously you can have your satellite navigation on here should you wish to. You can have it on both screens simultaneously. Uh, nice clear color display as you can see. We've done a video showing uh, how Audi's satellite navigation system works. You can find that on our website uh, and also on our uh, YouTube channel as well. And again, back to the home screen from up here. Uh, if I put the vehicle into reverse, you also see a full color reversing camera as well. Working our way down from that, we have the three zone climate control for the car. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature as well, and the rear passengers can adjust their own too. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. You can turn your air conditioning to eco, on or of course off, which is where we started. And you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. Once you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is obviously on. You can hit auto independently for the driver, passenger and rear passengers. What will happen then is that the car will take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain this temperature for the driver and for the passenger as well. Uh, if you override it by adjusting the fans, you'll see also has gone off straight away again. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same for the passenger as well. Underneath that, we can turn off the main screen should we wish to, or we can turn the uh, parking sensors on and off, traction control on and off, the stop and start on and off, and then you can change the driving setup of the car as well. So uh, essentially, uh, you can put the car into any number of settings. So dynamic, uh, individual, uh, comfort, depending on the road conditions. Uh, you have a 12 volt charging socket underneath that. The USB input, start and stop button for the engine, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, the volume for the stereo, and then the electronic handbrake with auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.